Joining me now is Babby Mason, Grammy-nominated musician, television host, Bible teacher, and author of the new book, Each One Reach One, Everyday Ways You Can Shine God's Light. Welcome back to 100 Homey Street, Babby. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Well, we're just loving having you with us all month, and we've got so many questions for you from your new book, Each One Reach One. I know our viewers have loved our segments together uh, because you are really motivating us to um, to share Jesus and to do that at every turn. Let that light shine boldly through our lives. You know, one of the things you write in the book is a well-known rhyme. You quote it. The only Jesus some people ever see is the Jesus they see in you and me. The reality is, yes, our lives are sometimes the only Bible a person will ever read. And our lives as followers of Jesus really matter. How we behave, the things we do, how should this shape our approach to our day-to-day -day living? Yes. Well, fewer and fewer people are going to church. Uh, fewer and fewer people are involved in ministries or supporting ministries. Uh, and so it's up to you and me as believers to be the church, to be Jesus, as I heard someone say, to be Jesus with skin on. Mm -hmm. And we can do that. And we often equate, um, you know, evangelism. We think, well, that's the preacher's job or the evangelist's job, you know, the guy that's running the revival at the church, but really we're all called mm -hmm. to be an evangelist. And I know that that sounds like a big word, but don't let that big word evangelism uh, intimidate you. All it really means is to share Christ with the hurting world with the goal of leading someone to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we can all do that. And the way I've chosen to do it, the way I, I asked God a few years ago when I reached my 50th year of walking with Jesus, to give me more opportunities to share my faith and shine my light, to put the words in my mouth, to open a door, and when I see someone in need or when I have an opportunity to tell someone about Jesus, to open up my mouth and ask God to put the words in my mouth, and he does it. And so I suggest to that person who's watching today, if you want to be more diligent, more obedient to the scriptures, pray and ask God to help you, and he will. He has given us the Holy Spirit who equips us, guides us, puts the words in our mouth, directs our steps, helps us to shine our light, to speak to people. It's all partnering with the Holy Spirit, and he helps me to do this. And he allows me to share my faith and to shine my light. And so when I leave home, uh, whether I'm going to the airport or whether I'm going to the doctor's office, it seems like the grocery store is a prime place for me to yeah. be on a mission. And so uh, I share a lot of stories in the book, but these circumstances happen quite often. I think it's because I'm sensitive. I'm asking God to help me to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit yeah. so that when I see someone who is uh, opens up a little bit of their heart and exp and shows a little bit of vulnerability and I see a little bit of a need there, then I can share Jesus with them. Mm. And so just a few days ago, just last week when I was in my local grocery store, I was in the deli and there was another lady. We we're both shopping for ham. OK. And I asked her how she was doing. And when I've, I've learned to be very attentive to people, not to just look over them or around them or be in a hurry to just say, hey, how you doing and keep on moving. But if I have a moment, I stop and I say, how are you doing today? And wait for an answer. And when people see that you're genuine, that you really care, they will give you an honest answer. And so I asked this dear lady in the deli the other day how she was doing. And she said, oh, I'm okay. And I said, just okay? And she began to tell me a little bit of her story. And when, I, when she said, just okay, it was how she said it that prompted my spirit to pay attention. And that's what I love about the Holy Spirit, is he is right there to help us in that moment. Mm. And you don't need a platform, you don't need a, a, a mega horn, you don't need a pulpit, you don't need uh, a degree or a pedigree to be kind. Mm. And she said, I'm doing just okay. And I said, just okay? And she began to share her story. She said that she was having a heart procedure day after tomorrow, mm -hmm. so that would have been last week. And she said, and I'm a, a bit nervous about it. And I said, well, the Lord wants to give you peace that passes all understanding. He's gonna be with you in that procedure. And I shared the Lord with her. She was a believer, she agreed with me. I shared the Lord with her, I prayed with her. And uh, she said, would you pray with me and for me on Thursday? And I put that alarm in my phone and prayed with her. But in that moment, the Lord is teaching me to be attentive, to be genuine, 
to use kindness. Mm -hmm. Kindness is meeting the needs of others with love, compassion, and generosity. And any of us, all of us can do that. I love that so much, Bobby. I'm so excited actually to start my days a bit more now as I go out every day and say, Jesus, Holy Spirit, how do you want to use me today? Bobby, this is such a great word of encouragement for our viewers. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, if you feel that God is calling you to let the light of Jesus shine through you more to those who desperately need to know him like you do, then Babby's new book, Each One Reach One, Everyday Ways You Can Shine God's Light, is the book for you. To get your copy of her new book, take a look at this.